everyone. This is Sonia Linares, Head of Operations at Paradox Tinto, and I'm in Barcelona today with Alvaro Sanz, Content Design Coordinator, and Marcus Hoffman, Internal QA, and we're here to talk about King of Kings. King of Kings is the new expansion for Europe Universalis IV. The name is inspired by the title Shahanshah, which was assumed by many rulers in the Middle East, especially in Persia. But the expansion also adds a lot of new material for other historic claimants to that title, the rulers of Egypt and the emperors in Byzantium. We've done some work on this region in other expansions, notably in Cradle of Civilization in 2017. But with the revised Ottoman Empire in this year's Domination DLC, it's time to balance the scales a bit with new content for the regional rivals. In all, King of Kings has hundreds of new missions, over 150 new events, dozens of changes to state and government reforms, and a lot of unique decisions for the nations of the Middle and Near East. Persia is not a starting nation in 1444, but after being formed, it can be a very powerful player on the world stage, limiting Ottoman expansion to the east and Mughal expansion to the west. Early modern Persia was historically formed by the Safavids from Ardabil, so we have made this a more attractive path in the game, with more claims and missions to guide the historical outcome. But no matter who forms Persia, it will come with a lot of new content. A major new feature is Persian influence, a diplomatic interaction that allows Persia to bring weaker states into its orbit. There is also the promotion of Persian culture and art, historically a major factor in the power of the Iranian people in this period. We've also tried to offer meaningful alternate religious paths for the Persian player. Shia Islam is not firmly established yet in Iran in the 15th century, with a majority of Sunni population and pockets of Zoroastrian devotees. The religion you choose to follow will open different mission paths for the country. In all, Persia gets over 70 possible new missions, 6 new government reforms, and 60 new historical events. It's a lot of new material for a very exciting and diverse nation. The Mamluks were one of the dominant Muslim powers of the late Middle Ages. They entered the early modern period as one of the primary rivals to the ascendant Ottomans in the north. The Sultanate is well situated to control trade in the eastern Mediterranean and the Indian Ocean, especially if they can establish their dominance over Mecca and other Arabian states. There are 30 new missions to explore for this powerful crossroad between continents. In King of Kings, we represent the unique place of the Mamelukes with five unique government reforms and multiple estate privileges. To represent the fertility of the Nile, the Mamelukes can now export grain as a special diplomatic interaction. And as long as they control the holy city of Mecca, they can also promote the Hajj as a way to improve relations with fellow Muslims. The Mamelukes also have access to near government mechanics if they are able to form Egypt. Egypt can westernize by spending monarch points to build up bonuses that will improve their situation. The price can add up, but the newly formed country will be able to gain major economic benefits or even European units. Despite being a fan favorite, the Byzantine Empire is a major challenge even for experienced EU4 players. It faces immediate extermination from the neighboring Ottomans and needs a strong military alliance to get past the early game. We've decided to reward those who can make it out alive with a lot of unique Byzantine flavor to reflect the Fenian Empire's glorious past and the ambitions for the future. We have expanded the Byzantine mission tree to include over 50 missions to guide the restoration of Eastern Roman greatness with a unique type of subject, the pronoia. Pronoia status can be given to any vassal and is a free diplomatic relation that offers greater military support. Byzantium also gets some new government reforms including the possibility to restore the Roman Senate system and new state privileges as well, including enforcing the unity of Christianity and a special treatment for Latin merchants. The goal is to make the restoration of the Roman Empire a pleasant challenge even beyond survival. 
Those are the three most important empires in King of Kings, but the surrounding nations will also be able to shape the balance of power in their favor. The mountain kingdoms of Armenia and Georgia received new national missions. And we strengthened the options for the Turkmen kingdoms of Akkoyunlu and Kawakyunlu as well. Especially important if we want to make the Persian region feel more dynamic. And we can't forget the important nations further south, such as the Arabian tribes or Yemen. In the right hands, the trade hubs of the peninsula can fund a mighty empire. We've put a lot of effort into research and design to make sure we capture some of the potential histories for these regions. So go ahead, dig into these exciting regions, share your thoughts, and don't forget to have fun!